Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweets Ajele and I am back with another quick, easy and super delicious recipe. We're making tolo beef fried rice. Yes, don't be surprised and don't frown because this is absolutely delicious. Let's get started. In a wok, add in some oil. You may use any oil of your choice. To that, we're going to add some eggs and we'll scramble it until well done and set it aside. Then to the same wok, add in some more oil so that our chopped onions and garlic and ginger paste. I have a recipe on how I make the garlic and ginger paste. I'll leave the link for you to check out. And we're going to stir fry this until our onions are translucent on medium high heat. I'll then add in some of this super delicious red pepper sauce that I made. It's so delicious. I'll share the recipe in the near future. To that, we'll add our leftover tolo beef omo for all tolo beef and one more. If you missed that recipe, I'll leave that link as well for you to check out. And we'll stir fry this until each rice is well coated with our base. Let me tell you, you can enjoy this fried rice as it is right now because it is already super delicious. Today's special twos goes to me and AJ for the creation of this recipe. Cook with Naki for the inspiration and my baby girl, Abinas World. Thank you for always watching, liking, commenting, and sharing my video. Once everything is nicely coated like this, I'll add in some oyster sauce for a super delicious flavor. I'll also go ahead and add in some soy sauce and we'll stir fry everything until each grain again is coated with some of our sauces. It is now time to add in our veggies and you may use any vegetable of your choice. I am using cabbage because I cannot do without cabbage in my fried rice. I so love it. I also add in some carrots, red onions, and some green bell peppers. Stir fry everything until your veggies are well incorporated into your rice. Please do not forget to watch how I made the tolo beef rice. I used a diabetic friendly rice so this fried rice is totally safe for people with diabetes. Then we'll add in our scrambled eggs and give it a stir. Finally, for a super delicious flavor, drizzle over some sesame oil, add in your spring onions, give everything a stir, our fried rice is done. Okay, once your veggies goes in, please stir fry this for just a minute, especially if you want your vegetables to be nice and crunchy and voila! There you have it. Just look at that. It was so, so delicious. And we couldn't wait to serve and enjoy. All are invited to enjoy this super delicious fried rice that you will regret not trying with me. I'll pair it with some of this super delicious Ghana salad, which I would have a recipe for shortly, and also a red pepper sauce for even more spiciness. Oh, 
all are invited to enjoy this deliciousness with me. If you've enjoyed me until this point, why not let me know where you're watching from so I can give you a special two in our next recipe. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke unamini uchemi suite mahabutu. Bye y'all. Sushi and pastries, all this and more, sweet like